Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This video will be about uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising. Weekly tarot reading April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. And as soon as I'm done with the shuffling here, we are going to proceed uh, with the reading itself. Doing that in front of the camera guys in case someone calls me out for not shuffling the cards. I do not find it quite necessary to do so in front of camera, but just let me know down in the comments Are you prefer me to shuffle in front of the camera or should I come with pre-shuffled cards? It's just a waste of time to shuffle them in front of camera if you ask me. But that being said, Leo, the first card for your week, which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the challenge that you need to overcome here throughout the week is going to be the strength card afterwards that is going to be the positivity or the positive aspect of the week uh, we have the six of wands and then the last card it is the guidance that you should in, uh, that you should follow you know or the guidance that tarot has for you we do have the queen of cups so uh, I was a bit uh, scary, uh, scared when I saw the Nine of uh, Swords as a topic of the week, but it does seem that the Nine of Swords appears itself into the most positive um, interpretation here due to the fact that we do have as a positivity Six of Wands. So what, that's, um, what these cards are pointing is that you, Leo, throughout this uh, week are going to have a rather quite unexpected breakthrough, a breakthrough that you haven't even imagined that you're going to have such. And it is from where the heck thing wavering, wavering comes around, how you are to sustain that achievement. Now, the first card, which is the topic that is the Nine of Swords, guys, and everybody knows who is a little bit into tarot, that this card refers to fear, worries, anxiety, and so on and so forth. But... um in a more deeper level, the um, the Nine of Swords does represent consequences, does represent um, responsibilities. So that is the topic. You may be afraid of the responsibilities you will have to bear that comes around with this unexpected breakthrough that you are going to have or that you're going to accomplish, that unexpected milestone that you are going to reach for throughout the week. Now, important thing to be said with the Nine of Swords is that one should be a one should try to overcome the initial petrification that one situation um, is making one to experience it is because usually with the, when the nine of swords uh, has a follow-up of positive cards such as the six of wands the worries that one has in there in one's mind are rather uh, a very over exaggerated so you may you may think of that you are facing a, a gargantuan project uh, problem excuse me while the problem is merely a trifle you know it's so kind of like try to be more objective or as much objective as possible for what you are facing throughout the week the accompanied card here that is going to be the ten of swords so we do have active supporters and it does look like of a huge liberation that you're going to experience for throughout the week a, a big cut off um problems in as well uh, how can i express it and 
unneeded situations that are going to ha is going to happen for throughout this week. With this combination, one needs to recognize the new era that it is coming into one's life. And at that point, I can I can really feel your anxiety because this week is going is gonna be the week, guys. I mean, this week you will have to make those irrevocable decisions and those irreversible actions. Once made, there is no going back, you know, so you can't provoke and force a new era and the circumstances or rather like the events should not be fought but should be embraced, all right? So let's say you're going through a really rough uh, relationship and you kind of define for yourself that, that this relationship cannot survive any longer. So these cards are asking you to do exactly that and to reach a milestone of liberation. You know, just face your fears and do what is needed. That is what the week is gonna be all about. Now, unfortunately here, the challenges that you need to overcome with the strength card is the enthusiasm with which you need to jump into those endeavors. As the strength card does point that one is eager, you know, to make a, a progress and as well, that one is, um, unyielding about one standpoint, right? So you are to be a little bit prone, you know, to be swiped off opinion, meaning that someone could incorporate their own opinion into your opinion, talking you out of certain actions that you want to make, right? And also uh, that will happen through one, uh, through that person provoking your temper. And for that reason, also challenging throughout this week is going to be you holding, uh, ta holding tamed your temper. And if you unleash your temper to to take the best of you, the the best of you, yeah, uh, you may uh, kind of like uh, provoke as well very unwanting situations in your life, which there won't be there there won't be anybody of a, a winning position. Uh, anybody, nobody is going to have the upper hand. Nobody wins from you losing your temper, like making that huge scandal to your husband or wife or to your boss or to your co-worker and so on and so forth the only thing you're going to do is uh, extinguish your enthusiasm to make uh, to stray for better things and uh, as well making the situation worse than it needs to be uh the, the the key with this card is that you need to keep on to your goal keep on to your own opinion to your opinion and even if you are provoked do not allow these provo uh, provocations to get the bet uh, the better of you the accompanied card here that is going to be the ace of cups so the formation it is a active enemies and I, it seems that what you gotta do it's um you would prefer not to do it so these cards prefer to uh, you may not want to break up with your boyfriend or you may not or with your girlfriend you know or you may not want to uh, basically display your demands in these kind of stuff because you will know that uh, such of actions there won't be just any going back all right so what you gotta do here throughout the week uh, Leo's uh, has in an irreversible consequences and that is the fear you will have to face guys that is the major breakthrough we are talking about and eventually they have these things has to be done I mean you know for example if you are in an abusive marriage eventually you will have to um, detach yourself from it all right or try to do the things better for yourself same thing goes if you are into an undervalued position into your work you, you got to do something to improve that and this is the week where you do something now that something is not going to be of your liking meaning that you will have to do a thing or you will have to take actions that you would usually not not going to do so but it's what is needed all right the uh, positivity of the week here, that is going to be the six of wands and six of wands points that you are to reach a, a major milestone and achievement being recognized for your efforts to provoke a new era into your life. And throughout the week, you are going to start reaping the fruits of your labor. That is also very important. Additionally to that, with the six of wands, should you need any help with that gargantuan endeavor of yours, that help is going to come at your behalf either. But the most positive thing with the six of uh, wands here is that you are to have a peak of pleasant experience when this turmoil of the ten of swords and the nine of swords is over. And the good thing with these cards is that they pass through very, very quickly. So you just snap out, you say, we are done, you know, we are not going to be in a relationship any any longer. And the tantrum and the, the, the havoc stays for 
couple of hours, maybe a day, you know, and after that you really feel the freedom. So, or you really feel the, the positive result of your drastic and radical actions, because this is what you gotta do, drastic and radical actions in order to provoke new era and to improve your personal circumstances. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Five of Cups. We have formation of a active enemies and it doesn't look like that you're gonna have any regrets of what you have did, all right? So uh, this these cards, the formation with the Five of Cups of the Six of Wands, it does point that you will not feel any pity, no remorse, no, nor commiseration to the previous situation you were, you were at, you know, severing ties with it and uh, embarking on this uh, new milestone and this conquest. The thing with these couple of cards, however, is that you still have what to achieve, guys. So don't, um, how can I place it? Don't lie to yourself or don't deceive yourself that you have achieved the maximum potential of yours, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. You still have what to prove. Therefore, you should not let down your guard or rather like you should not catch up for a uh, for a rest when <clears throat> you know the turmoil of the nine of swords and the ten of swords is over and the guidance here uh we do have the queen of cups so what you are to make of all of that well it is time to plan big all right the queen of cups as a guidance is all about making long-term plans a plans toward the dreams of your heart or toward the emotions of your heart one should cherish their emotions okay so whatever you like to do or whatever that sacred dream of yours is this week, once you are done with uh, this ending of an era, all right, the premature ending, of, it's not premature, but let's say uh, violent ending of an era, it's a time to, like I said, liberate yourself, breathe freely, and as well plan for a long-term future, which is going to give you the, the glee you, um, you are after. Also, it's very important with before I drew the next card, this is uh, where you will have to take advantage of your acute sense of the human nature, right? So you will be very aware of wh what kind of people you do have around yourself and you get to choose which one to associate yourself with. Additionally to that, as much um, this the discretion you can uh, you can keep about your endeavors and about uh, you know the actions that you want to take, the better. Uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the Four of Swords here, formation, it is a, a passive neutrals. And you have to keep on going with your original idea, um, avoiding, you know, sharing it with other people. So what we do have with these cards is that your original idea, go and plan, should be uh, kept in secret one way or another. It is because... Um, like I said at the start, people may try to um, to talk you out of it in any way, or they may try to twist it in a way that is going to benefit them as well. So whatever you have as a goal of yours, keep it uh, keep it discreet, guys, and just do what you are to do. It's it's no different than the situation saying you know I love you. I mean, words doesn't mean a lot. Uh, actions are what shows. What, what what you are experiencing or feeling toward another person. And that could be the reason of these cards, you know, I mean, um, if you have someone of interest, these cards may are showing here that it is time to act instead of talking as well. It does depend what kind of a situation you're in. But yeah, that being said, um, Leo, that was uh, your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.